Hi guys, uh, this is Patrick Trahan. I want to talk to you about a uh, product I'm going to put on the 450L. It's a uh, chain guy from uh, DRC Zeta. Uh, those guys have been supporting me uh, for many, many years with the 250L, which you can see here. Um, and uh, this product, um, I'm, I was very impressed when I saw it because uh, it's got some very nice uh, feature about it. First of all, um, wow, it's got a nice red look with going with all the other uh, component from Zeta, which has the same red as this. It makes, uh, looks pretty uh, works and uh, factory, uh, if you want my opinion. But one nice feature, well, there's a couple of nice feature about it. The first thing is, this is the stock one from uh, from Honda, which is, in my opinion, very very nice, very light um, for the uh, chain guide. It's made out of aluminum. Uh, but one thing I don't know if you can notice with the camera, but you can see uh, it's got about a thousand miles on it, and all, already it's got its uh, wear and scratch uh, from from the rocks. I mean, it's a little bit like a skid plate for the chain. Uh, but the problem with this is it's aluminum so at one point if you hit real big rocks like in rallies and stuff at high speed it can crack and then that, that can open up and then your chain is uh, open for any uh, mm -hmm. rocks or anything like this so uh, you could change it from Honda I mean you can change just this part and this part as well I mean you could see already uh, it's wearable I mean it's uh, it's, it's a usage, it goes on the chain and at one point you have to check it and then change just this part. Uh, but what Zeta did is they made the bottom wearable if you want. That means that when it hits, the rubber will, will wear and at one point you can check and just change this part. So, but it won't crack like uh, aluminum can do. You know, it's just gonna scratch and then just put this a little bit uh, less material so I really like this about that also it's it's a little bit heavier than the stock one but this feature is very impressive also uh, you can see uh, the bolt here it's very very flush sometimes for the guys that uh, or girls that puts the tires you know that sometimes it's gonna hit the bolt from the chain guide but here they made it uh, that it's not gonna happen so uh, to uh, change this, very easy. You just take those two bolts and then the extra bolt goes right in there. You put some Loctite, put that back. Uh, you need to put, you, you have to take this uh, piece off if your chain is already on, but like on mine, uh, there's no chain. So I just have to put the chain through and I have to check my wear from here and from here. And when it's too much, then I change this uh, rubber part of it. And that's it. So I'll show you a picture when it's done.